so my next delivery is to this place that I'm not sure exactly what they do but they, they transport and store <laughs> people with mentally challenged I'm trying to be politically correct here retarded people they transport and store retarded people. Sorry, I know that's a terrible word. And they have a nurse on duty, and that's who always fucking orders. But I feel like this is like the bottom of the barrel for a nurse job. Because the lady is such fucking trash. She was probably a nurse at a hospital, you know got fucking busted for doing pills or some shit and then went to the next bottom of the barrel spot which is a fucking nursing home a shit nursing home and then probably got fired from there and so she's the nurse at the retard storage and transportation company that's so bad. I, it's funny though. I can't help it. I know. I'm a fucking asshole. But I'm not going to try to be politically correct here. Because this is what this place is. They store and transport retarded people. And so, she is a nurse at this place. And in case... You know, somebody has a seizure or whatever the fuck. And she is such fucking trash. She orders, she always orders online. She pays online. And then she always says, I'll put the tip on there. I'm like, no, you didn't. It's not on here. Oh, I didn't? Well, I'll get you next time. No, you won't because that's what you said last time. And it, then she'll call and complain about her fucking order that she didn't order this or she ordered it a certain way it's like no ma'am you placed the order online this is how you ordered it we made it that way we didn't fuck it up we made it according to the way you said you specified on the online order you're not going to call us and complain because you want free fucking food or you want a credit not gonna happen. You got us the first ten times, not no more. All right, fucking go into this retard storage and transportation company. So so I delivered to this lady and. <laughs> Oh, I feel like such an asshole. Because <laughs> she tipped me. She was like, Here's five dollars. That's all I got. I really want to give you more because I keep telling you that I'm going to get you, but I never do. <laughs> Jesus, I am an asshole. So, uh, my next delivery, it's to these apartments. And they, at one time they used to be pretty nice, but now we we call them green ghettos because they're green. It's green meadows apartments, but we call them green ghettos just because they're kind of ghetto. They're not that bad where we kick them off the list. You know, we'll still deliver there. But last time I delivered there, it's been some time. The lady literally fell asleep while she was signing. The credit card slip. She, I don't know, was on pills, which that's probably what it was. And it's the same lady. So this should be interesting. But watch, this time she'll be nice. You know, she'll be uh, coherent. And she'll be a very pleasant person. And then I'll feel like an asshole. <laughs> like I did on that last delivery. I don't know. I don't, I don't care that much. I 
just dropped the green ghetto green ghettos delivery off and it wasn't the same lady it was the apartment next to her or next to this lady and she tipped me like a dollar and some change terrible tip my wife starts her new job soon she got her uh, the date she starts it's, uh, it's with the same company it's just a promotion it's a lead position it's on a team that she used to work for it's where she started with this company and then she was promoted and moved to another office and now she's promoted and moves back but now she's the team lead which is it's pretty big because it's the the team lead of the city and it's it's huge i mean she got basically a seventeen thousand dollar raise overnight she is officially making more money than i am But she should be. She's got her fucking masters. You know. I deliver fucking pizza. Yeah, so I delivered to this green ghettos and she had placed her order, the ticket printed, they made the order, and then she called back and added a fucking two liter to it. Well my ticket didn't have a fucking two liter on it so my ass has to go back and take her her fucking two liter because my co-workers are fucking incompetent they can't staple the two liter to the original ticket how am i supposed to fucking know there's supposed to be a two liter and she only paid for the pizza the total that was on my ticket so now she's getting a free fucking two liter and i gotta drive back over here because of my fucking incompetent co-workers. So I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, uh, you know, you should have said something. I would have ran up to the gas station and grabbed you one. And she's like, oh, it's okay. You know, I called back and ordered after the fact and, you know, added it to my order. She's like, I guess they didn't tell you. I'm like, yeah, you're goddamn right they didn't tell me. But, so, according to my coworkers, she called the store and fucking bitched them out because I didn't bring the two there. It just went off on them. And so it's just like, how are you gonna be a complete fucking cunt? And then when I get there, to your face, no big deal, it's okay, you know, shit happens. For real, you know, I'd respect you more if you bitch me out on the phone and then when I show up with the shit that we fucked up and you bitch me out in person. But no, you're gonna hide behind a phone and act all bad. And then when I get there, you're gonna act like nothing happens. You fucking, I don't even know what to say. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Oh, what fucking time is it? It's 124. I got like a half an hour of my shift. I'm gonna head to the fucking auto parts store. I'm gonna get my belt for my fucking AC. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put the power steering pump back on. Put the belt on that. And then I'm fucking done. New tiny belt, new water pump, new uh, tensioner, um, new AC belts, uh, the new rotor and the distributor. 